Behind the Uligas Hiamai campus is a popular peach area that is utilized for a diversity of purposes. It is typically used for fishing, swimming, surfing, and other recreational activities. Although the coastal resources of the area is a major pool factor for beach users, the area can potentially be a health hazard due to the fact that the peach is frequently used as an open public toilet. This type of behavior is known as open defecation and it introduces fecal pollution into the coastal environment. This practice is due to personal hygienic behaviors and lack of access to toilet facilities. Open defecation conjoined with lack of proper sanitation and hygiene can lead to a myriad of medical microbiological conditions. For example, diarrhea, intestinal worm infections, typhoid, chlora, hepatitis, and so on. Therefore, the community is potentially at risk, and for this reason, my investigation begins. Firstly, an observation of the area behind campus was conducted to determine the sampling points. The water samples from the near shore zone were collected using four Ziploc bags and then swiftly transported into the laboratory for the sampling test. The sampling assessment took place in the laboratory. A pipette was used to transfer the seawater sample from the Ziploc bags into the nutrient bottles. The nutrient bottles were gently shaken to receive infirmity. After the nutrient bottles were mixed, they were decanted into separate battery dishes. The battery dishes were labeled and then placed into the incubator for 48 hours. After the incubation process, the battery dishes were inverted and subject to optical analysis. Biograph illustrating the number of E. coli colonies identified from four grab samples taken from four points within the near shore marine environment at the back of Vuliga campus, CMI. Four locations were selected within the near shore zone to test the seawater behind Vuliga campus for microbial activity, specifically E. coli. All four samples tested negative for E. coli after the laboratory analysis. This result is probably due to a technical flaw as a result of temporary power failure of the incubator or environmental factors. For example, coastal hydrolysis processes resulting in the dispersal of small quantities of E. coli. Although all the samples did not reveal E. coli colonies, sample 1 from location 1 and sample 3 from location 3 both exhibit turbidity and functionality which is indicative of microbiological activity, whereas sample 2 from location 2 and sample 4 from location 4 show a transparency. Limitations for the research project were limited nutrient bottles for the sample, and sample were probably affected by the unexpected power outage. I recommend that a more recourses scientific investigation be conducted by increasing the number of samples, obtain and establish a regular testing resume over a specific period of time. This study area is a very popular beach for the residents of the community. Therefore, it is imperative that this study continues to help guide public interest and also preserve the coastal environment through education and proper awareness.